And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Noxus Lucian aggro today. Uh, we're going to be playing four new decks today, um, kind of restarting uh, after a rough day yesterday. But we got four new ones that uh, all look pretty fun. Got these decks from the Decks of Runeterra website. These all looked like decks that had been having some success. And so I wanted to play them as is. And a lot of them have like different cards that I haven't really played too much before like this deck like this is a you know a lucian uh fiora aggro deck you know with uh getting some quick attack you know like legion drummer giving fiora quick attack kind of thing um a whole bunch of purifies in here uh, like vanguard first blade is a creature that i haven't really played in in decks kind of feel like it's not too strong for constructed but i don't know like we're, we're gonna find out you know, it get, does get larger the more you attack. And same with Battering Ram. gets larger the more that you attack. I, always, I like this card just from, like, card design and everything. But um, skeptical of how good it will be. But it has a full three Battering Rams. It's not that it's not good enough. It's just that at six mana, it's pretty slow. Um, decisive Maneuver. Uh, we talked about this one yesterday. This completely blew me out. It was the best, like, we had a situation yesterday where Decisive Maneuver was the best possible card in the entire game that my opponent could have, and they had it, and it completely blew me out. And I guess there's three of them in here. Um, and then uh, Legion Marauder. You think the Legion Marauders are weak? Okay. Well, we're going to find out. I have not played Legion Marauder in a deck before, so... <clears throat> yeah, this will be my first time playing that one as well. So yeah, we got some different stuff here, and, and that's that's what we kind of have today. Like there's a, we have a Brom deck. I've never really seen a Brom deck have too much success. Um, you know, I'll be instead of like my Demacia version, I'll try the Rekindler version, um, and then the Karma Thresh Control. So let's have some fun today. So expectations aren't super high. Let's have some fun. Noxus, Lucian, and Ranked. One, two, three. I don't know what that zero is doing in there. <laughs> Here we go. We'll get our 40 games of Legends of Runeterra in today. Do I want to keep Culling Strike to be able to kill Elise? Probably. And honestly, maybe Whirling Death's not that bad either, but I felt like I wanted another unit. So like, how many units to spells do we got here? A 27 units, 13 spells. So basically a 2 to 1 ratio. Almost exactly 2 to 1 close to two to one you can get but we've drawn two to one the other way all these spells there's nothing to fear so young. maybe the sentry was just better that's a card that's gonna be costing more tomorrow Black Spear. It's going to be a three mana card tomorrow. Why do we have so many Purifies? So many purifies. Yeah, yeah, there's I think Rap Walkie is saying that that they think the next big patch is going to be a release, a new release. That... Always two steps ahead. 
because yeah like that's you're not going to get new cards and new region and stuff except for on release date that's the only time that you'll get that making the dead deader let them exult all go To me. We're not in the best spot. We have a lot of fearsome creatures. You think next month already is going to be the next patch? I I feel like they would let us know whenever a new set is before a month out. I I don't think that we're going to have new cards and in one month. I'd be very surprised by that. Right on. I don't expect that to happen. These purifies have just been so bad. I've drawn all three. Oh, you think they already have a few sets ready? If they go if they go to attacks and trigger the hecker I might die. All right, so this game we've we've learned that purify is not very good. What? How is that their attack? I guess they're just scared of. Is this supposed to be a 
They're just scared of judgment, I guess. Yeah, they were just too scared of judgment. Yeah, the the reason why I think it's it's not going to be a new set next month is because I think they would be. They would be hyping it up if there was a new set coming. Like, they're not hyping up a new set right now, so I, I don't see it coming in a month or less. I expect the next set to come whenever they're ready to release the game in full, honestly. So that is probably like two months. Yes, this game has been out for about two months right now. Demacia shall prevail. We each died, then found home. For the honor of Rhyme. So I need to draw a whirling death. Not whirling death. Correct. It's it's been in, in beta for open it's been in open beta for almost two months, actually like seven weeks. So like seven weeks or so. Okay, we've got a lot more creatures this time. And not just a handful of purifies against a deck that purifies not very good against. So the problem with having three Purify in the deck is that Purify is not good against everybody, and sometimes you'll just draw all three Purify, and it's not very good. So if I play Legion Drummer, I would have I'd be able to give like the tracker um, quick attack. But if I if I did that, they just weren't going to play a creature before I attack, and so like it wouldn't really matter because they're not going to just like play something in into that. So I went with Illusion with the ability to go with the Senna the next turn, but. Pledge yourself to the shadow. Um, Hmm. 
guess I just have to use this. Ideally, we'd be able to just kill that with this other stuff. I, I should just kill it, though. Let's have some fun. We don't have great use for these things right now. This this thing attacks for four, so it attacks for the same as Senna. Eyes open. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Remember the plan. This chain vest is actually a pretty good card to, to draw with us just having the one mana after Sithria. Like that that works pretty well. You know, we could have gone Senna Whirling Death. But this works pretty well. Alright, so we're gonna have Uh I kinda wanna give the, the Sithria fearsome because that's the one thing they can block or like give that quick attack Remember why we fight. Why we fight. as i expected we had a lot better hand that game a very good hand good curve Jeez. So I think it makes sense to add a new set at release of game so that whenever the new set comes out, if like a lot of people are getting the game at that point, then um you know, then they're they're getting the game right at like the right time to start building up like their their collection for the next set. Um, if they if they release the set first and then and then like a month later, then release the full game, like the set will already be out for a while and people will feel like they're behind. I don't know what to do with this. These are a lot of things that kill Fioras, and I like that. We're going with the control. You know, turning into the control deck with this kind of hand. <laughs> Remember why we fight. I wish the spells had full art too. It's like a huge thing on a map, it looks like. Oh, 
bow, bow, bow. They would fall by my blade. Not expecting them to be able to pump Fiora's power, but maybe they will. Protect House Laurent. Chance to run. My shield is yours. How do we get this decisive maneuver card to work? That's what we use this card for. Don't get any bonus from the plus two, plus zero. It seems like a lot of mana just has done something. All right, battering ram time. We fight for those who cannot. Ugh. Gosh, these five drops are just so they're so difficult to deal with. I, mean, I guess I attack with this, but so, I mean, it can either be an O twelve or a four seven. I guess we have it be the four seven. I mean, I could get rid of Legion Drummer and do this. Sacrifice Legion Drummer. Basically, the Legion Drummer is probably going to be dying to the Swift Wing Lancer anyway. All right, this doesn't even matter. Why would, why would I even do this? Right, it's still... This quick attack doesn't even matter. It's not like this thing gets a barrier. I don't know why I was kind of thinking of that as a barrier. Stay resolute. You're covered. Whoa. 
Don't... I don't have any good plans to get rid of this Garen. Especially, like, if they have a barrier. Like, I, I could use double Whirling Death to kill the, the Garen, but if they just have a barrier... Seem like some of these cards that we're playing are not very good. No doubt. Only As I victory. was worried about. Look at you, battering ram. They've just been playing better cards. That that five four challenger is just a, a better card. Than, Let's have some fun. Um, then battering ram, like it just is. They just didn't attack. To victory. Run. I was thinking I was going to be able to play both of those down on the mana too. Yeah. For the cause! Yeah, 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 Garen. We get it. You're good. We get it. Message received. If you got a new deck and you want to test it out, why not play against the AI? Wow, I feel like they're just taking shots at me for testing out new decks and masters. And they're like, what are you doing? Why don't you just play against the AI? It's not as scary. Yeah, just personal shots. Like prismatic barrier, like we don't have prismatic barrier, do we? How do we not have prismatic barrier? To victory. All these decisive maneuvers and purifies and not playing barriers. Let none disturb my meditation. Savior worlds, we speak with blades. I need no weapons. Hmm. Marauder or First Blade? Which one do I want to play and attack with? Get this thing into a 4-4 four, four, or get this to a 4-3 and all other Marauders into 4-3s? Probably this thing. Where you go, I go. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sparky. Had a four drop die to Mystic Shot. Remember why we fight. 
Well, like I said, I didn't have high expectations, but, you know, like, this deck is listed as it doing really well. But it does not seem very good to me. Let's have some fun. Uh, are there a lot of rally effects to activate the attack abilities? In in this deck, there are zero rally effects. In in the game, there are there's just a couple of cards. There's Garen that can have basically be a rally effect. There's Lucian. I guess we do have Lucian that could flip. Um. But then there's just Relentless Pursuit. There's Tiana, which is a seven mana card. Yeah, I guess our, our only card that says Rally at all is this Lucian. My opponent's making my cards look really silly. Understand. You said you want to change your name on this game. It just costs a lot. I don't understand. Like, like your username, you want to change it, and it costs a lot. You have to pay. You have to pay money to change your username. It's one, I guess. But you, you actually have the ability to change your username. I'm not I'm not really aware of the, the process that entails. What we learned here is just because you get a, a deck list oh, yeah. offline does not mean that that deck's any good, even if it says it's good. I may not play 10 matches with this deck, because this deck looks really bad. By really bad, I mean not good enough to win. A Katarina deck? No, I actually don't have a Katarina deck to really recommend. I, I haven't ever played a Katarina deck. I... I think I just got it. I, my just finished my Katarina collection just a little bit ago, but that's that was a card that I just didn't have before. That was like one of my very last champions to get. Like the deck has some good cards. It's just. Around like so, basically the problem here is that uh, we do have some good cards, but there's also there's a handful of cards that aren't worth playing that we're playing that you know. So it's like it's like we have 25 good cards and 15 that aren't 15 cards not good enough in our 40 card deck. Like Arachnoid Sentry. You'd want to play Legion Marauder, I'm fine with that. But Arachnoid Sentry, 
this Vanguard first blade, the battering ram, the purify, the decisive maneuver. It's... Those can be replaced. What's the plan? Um, even it? going four or three pulling strike, three whirling death is a lot of each of those that aren't. Um, aren't reliable. Yeah, Katarina would make sense with this deck that we're playing. Yeah, it would. Yeah, like this this could be a decent Katarina deck. Um My gun is talking. It's not a bad draw. We ended up trading two for two. Feed Demacia. <clears throat> Senna transforms. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Pretty sure we can probably win this. We speak with blades. No, we may be one short. They can't have judgment. They could have single combat and stuff like that. I guess I could. I guess I could just have the Fiora kill this, because then this is still... Alright. Attack here, attack here. Attack here, attack here. That's still lethal. That's still 15. Like this hand, this is like the other hand that we won that we, you know drew a lot of the good cards. Like the Fleet Feather trackers are awesome. Lucian Senna like curved out really well. Alright, so Senna no longer has the double attack. Is it left for a little bit? For justice. For Demacia. In a long path to get here. They will no match. Awesome. Okay, so I think from there, like their best chance was judgment, and so playing the six six was gonna be bigger than judgment. GG's. Drew the, the good 20 cards instead of the bad 20 cards. We've done that twice. The other three times we've drawn the bad 20 cards. Replace, replace, replace. We don't have Fleet Feather Tracker or a two drop.
It's the other thing about only having one one drop is that our deck looks a whole lot better when we have that than whenever we don't have that. They would fall by my blade. Strike quickly, strike one. I kind of felt like they were going to be doing something like that, how they just passed. Well. That hurts. Pledge yourself to the shadows. The cooling strike draw. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing with these decisive maneuvers. Victory lies ahead. Where that purify? The order rewards its faithful. All right, figured out what to do with the purify. Good job, Purify. Maybe let's get this over there. There we go. Battering Ram. It's like my card. Yeah, Purify best card. That's the thing about Purify is that when it when it's good, it's real good. It's just not always good, but when it is, it's real good. No. Our Ram doesn't batter first. Don't really have any great plans. With this, about this Katarina. They're afraid. They should be. Defend and protect. I don't understand why they attack with these other things. Okay. I guess that's why. Violence solves everything.
Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Yeah, Katarina's real good. The world awaits! Forward! Yeah, Katarina does look pretty good. I think I agree with... Um, who said that? Fox? Yeah, Fox said that Katarina would make more sense in this deck than Fiora. And yeah, I think we saw that happen there. Katarina with bat like Katarina does make battering ram so much better. That's true. I guess I guess I needed to needed to um I needed to stun the Katarina, not stun the battering ram. Hey Josh, it's going good. Yeah, it's going good. We're trying out four brand new decks today that um from online like these these weren't decks that i put together but they're decks that said that they were doing good but this first deck is not impressive there's been like two games where we've curved out very well and and we've won those two and looks like that may happen again here with turn one fleet feather tracker Get in my way. You could always drop one Fiora for Katarina since Katarina is only really good as a one of. I could see that. Because, yeah, once you have your one Katarina, you don't need another. It's not... I don't know what Katarina's spell is, to be honest. Um, I'm going to attack instead of just letting them go Fiora plus protection. All right, well, th if they had Fiora, I, I may have just passed and have been able to have both of these spells available next turn. But it's a Shadow Assassin. I'm not as scared of a Shadow Assassin, so I'll just play that. Well, good thing we're playing a million Purifies. What do you think of the patch changes so far? Have you come across any cards in this deck that hasn't changed? Can you feel a difference? Well, the the patch the the update doesn't happen until tomorrow. They they give you the notes today, but like the updates tomorrow, you know, with the new week and everything. So nothing's changed right now. Yep, yeah, those are the notes right there. A lot of changes, My almost. That hurts. Almost like 20 cards. Mm. 
stop you. Uh, yeah, I, I think the changes are good. I mean, I, I do. I think they they do a, a great job. And they're, you know, really, they really make a lot of sense. They're well, they're well explained and everything like that. Um, no closer. Yeah, I don't really have issues with any of them. Probably the one I'm, I'm sad the crowd favorite goes down one toughness. Um, I'm not sure, like, they... The Iceborne Legacy, I think that's the one they're probably the most wrong about. How they say that they're hoping a doubled effect at a higher investment offers a more appealing prospect. But turning it from a burst spell into a slow spell... Lowers the appeal of that card substantially. And that was a card that started to, to start seeing play in the metagame. Water changes, but never Basically grows. right before this packed patch. Show them what we're made of. Um, but yeah, Chump Wump turning into three toughness makes a lot of sense. That card was a little too good. Eye. Flash of Brilliance only creating six plus cost spells in hand honestly doesn't really seem like a, a downgrade. So many times I would cast Flash of Brilliance and get like a crappy one mana spell that I didn't want whatsoever. And so how you only get six plus mana you're spells, like it, your you're always going to get powerful spells with Flash of Brilliance. As I think that's actually maybe an upgrade on Flash of Brilliance. As weird as that sounds. But yeah, Rekindler, Mark of the Isles, and um, Hecarim, those all definitely make a lot of sense. Even Black Spear crossing three. Yeah, I think it's a good start. Our ancestors are watching. No, I don't have a, a YouTube video reviewing the patch notes. Um, man, all these decisive maneuvers. Hmm. You think I, you think I should make one? Ugh. I could, yeah, I could see you doing that. I wish decisive maneuver was a good guard. I do something to keep our Fiora alive. Well, I guess we figured out what we're going to do to keep Fiora alive. We're going to do this to give our creatures plus two, plus zero. And therefore give the Lucian, make the Lucian a 6-3 to be able to kill the other thing. 
It's possible I should just be stunning the 2-1 and just letting Fiora trade. No. Alright, well, we're dead. This card just costs too much mana. A gift from the river folk. You know, the same amount of mana here. They they got to double spell. And I don't. Okay. Yeah, I could see doing that. Stand for what's right. Why even attack with this three two? What's the point? Alright, so I think we should be able to get this with Scythria giving our creatures fearsome. They, of course, have the five spells over there. So we don't know what they got. But. Hopefully it's not enough three plus power creatures. Or a bounce spell for Scythria. Or... You call me commander. Um, or some kind of, you know, removal. But two mana, get a three, three power creature. That was... That's very good. That's a really good start for them. <laughs> Did have a bounce spell. Nope. Well, I'm going to try to stun this thing and just attack with our other stuff. Um, that doesn't give me lethal, though. So... Yeah, bouncing Cythria, we're dead. Come on, opponent, I'm I'm literally dead. Just all you have to do is block and then untap and attack. Oh my gosh. I will put you down. Oh god.
I will play my part. I finally figured it out. It took way too long to do that. I... No, I don't think so, Frostbite. All right, so there we go. I'm not going to go through and play another three matches with this deck. Um, this deck was not very impressive at all, as we talked about throughout there. Um, sometimes you find some really cool decks online, and sometimes the decks online that look a little different aren't very good. Uh, but yeah, Battering Ram, Decisive Maneuver, those cards, they're not good. Uh, First Blade wasn't good. Um, Legion Marauder was okay. It's playable. I think it's more playable than the other cards. Um, you know, we had just had too many Purifies. We don't have enough one drops. Um, you know, we have Culling Strike. It's kind of situational, but it, it played pretty well. Whirling Death did not play nearly as well. Uh, whenever we would try a Whirling Death, people would be able to just interact and just really blow us out. So we were just getting blown. We were just getting blown out with this Whirling Death. Um, so yeah, basically, you know, like all these top end cards, they were just not, not very good. Um, as far as like what to do instead, you know, like, you know, like we're not playing like sync, basically there's just a lot of different things we could be doing instead, you know, like single combat, um, and prismatic barrier as far as other tricks go. Like prismatic barrier is just a lot better card than any of these other spells that we have. It's a reason why Prismatic Barrier is everywhere. It's great. Um, and then, yeah, you know, like we don't, like uh, even, you know, two drops like War Chefs. Because, um, you know, we had we had one tracker and then Drummer Lucian, and like hopefully we have those. Arachnoid Sentry was not good. You know, cards like Rear Guard, Saboteur, those are nice and, and effective. But anyway, if you if you want to play a deck like this, like you know, like with the first blade and the battering rams and stuff like that, uh, we did talk about like Katarina uh, probably would fit better than Fiora. We played a mirror match where our opponent had Katarina and it looked awesome. Uh, That's also because we couldn't really kill it, but but yeah, not the best deck here. All right, so there we go, Noxus Solution. We're gonna be trying out three others. Though today we'll get to those. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, still hope you learn stuff. You know, like that's that's the thing about trying out new cards. It's good to learn. You know, like I, I was skeptical of you know decisive maneuver and battering ram, but you know I didn't want to. You know, I was basically I was skeptical, but now after after playing them, we can we can definitely say that they aren't really good enough for constructed. Um, yeah, that's we can pretty safely say that um but it's good it's always good to try new things and so those y'all on youtube hope you still hit the like button because i hope you learn stuff and uh you know it's good good to try new things and so you know i tried this deck out so you know so you don't have to kind of thing <laughs> or you know make make some changes there all right uh and of course leave some comments too i'd really appreciate that as well um but thank you so much for watching the noxus lucian deck and i will see you for the next video